Welcome to the FT's special coverage of the Ambrosetti Forum at the Villa d'Este on Lake Como. I'm joined today by US Senator for Arizona, John McCain. Welcome, Senator. Thank you for your time. Um, you spoke yesterday very powerfully about your recent visit to Turkey, where you met members of the Syrian opposition. How would you have approached the Syrian crisis differently from President Obama and his administration? First of all, I would speak out on behalf of those people who are being massacred and slaughtered, some 20,000 of them, the people who are watching their children killed before their eyes, the young women who have been gang raped and men who have been wounded and tortured. The present uh, only statement has been, in recent months, has been that the uh, Syrians uh, have a red line, as far as he's concerned, on use of chemical weapons which may mean that uh, they are free to do anything else short of that. So that's the first thing I do. Second of all, I would join together with our allies and establish a no-fly zone, a sanctuary along the lines that the French president said should be considered, and um, obviously get weapons to the resistance so that it's a fair fight. Right now, helicopters, jet aircraft, tanks are being used by Bashar Assad, supplied by Russians. Hezbollah and Iranians on the ground massacring Syrian people. How confident are you if there was military in intervention, even on the relatively limited scale of protecting a no-fly zone, that it wouldn't escalate the crisis throughout the region? Well, I know that uh, by doing nothing, all of the uh, consequences that the non-intervention has said would happen if we got involved is now happening. More, more killing. Al-Qaeda coming into the fight, extremists coming into the fight, the danger of chemical weapons being used heightened. Um, so uh, I'm concerned about any of the consequences, but daily I am more concerned because more and more Al-Qaeda and extremists come into the fight, which then jeopardizes the chance for a peaceful resolution once Bashar Assad goes. Everybody believes that Bashar Assad will go sooner or later. The later he goes, the more complicated the situation is. We're obviously um, only a few months away now from the presidential elections in the States. Um, Senator Mitt Romney has referred to Russia as America's number one geopolitical mm -hmm. foe. What are the implications of that? I think that what uh, Mitt Romney was saying was that uh, Russia is still a significant challenge despite this continuous reset uh, and promise to Medvedev to tell Vladimir that the President of the United States will be, quote, flexible. We're still trying to figure out exactly what that means. But uh, Mitt Romney understands that there's instability throughout the world, that the rise and continued threat of radical Islamic extremism is there. Uh, his quote was taken out of context. He understands we face many challenges in the world. But all of it cry out for American leadership, which has been notably absent during this administration. Under a, a, a Romney administration, um, would Star Wars be resurrected? Well, we certainly would continue with missile defense uh, in Europe, uh, which the latest threat by one of the Russian military leaders is that that would trigger military confrontation. It's also been dramatically uh, opposed by the Russians who have said in their signing statement on the New START Treaty that they would withdraw if the United States continues with missile defense. So yes, in order to counter the Iranian threat, absolutely President Romney would pursue missile defense. It's defensive. And turning to domestic politics, um, there's been a lot of talk at the Ambrosetti Forum about the impending fiscal cliff in the U.S. Um, there is a lot of concern that whatever is decided by whatever administration is then in power in January, that Congress will not be able to effectively respond to this crisis and the decisions that need to be taken. What's your view on that? My view is that Congress and the President, whoever it is, must act. I think the mar world markets and American markets will start to react if we get, as we get closer to the edge of this fiscal cliff. There is a blueprint out there. It's called the Simpson-Bowles Commission, a commission that came up with uh, very tough proposals, but one that almost everybody agrees are the path forward to getting our fiscal house in order. Whether we will or not, um, I think it's not a question 
of whether they want to or not, I think they will be forced to because of the economic consequences of a failure to act. Senator John McCain, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm a great admirer of your organization. Thank you.